A word on this atmosphere. You were a bit tearful after the last one. Are you even now surprised at the backing that you're getting up here? Oh, when they were singing, oh, this is Savannah Marshall out at the back, I was like, oh, God, this is for me. <laughs> Honestly, it's unbelievable. It's, I, mean, I feel like a float. Where would you say that ranks in career wins? Is that your best career win today? Femke is a, a brilliant fighter. She's a um, former world champion. She's awkward, like you could say. She's very awkward. She tried to catch me coming in. Um, taking nothing away from, from Femke. I knew if I caught her, I'd hurt her. And I, I didn't think she'd go out like that. Did you want to send a statement tonight with everything that's on the table? Did you want to be the first to stop her? No, I ne honestly, I never ever go looking for knockouts. They just seem to find me. Okay, well, that's the formalities out of the way. You know where I'm going next. Does that now set up a monster fight against Clarissa Shields, who's at ringside? Is that the next fight, the only fight that you want next? Yeah, that's it. There's no one else in the way between me and Clarissa, so it's me and Clarissa in the summer now. And where is your confidence at the moment? As you stand here now, do you believe that you win that fight? 100%. I know Clarissa can't, let, can't handle my power. It'll be a good night. So to confirm what you're saying is you believe you win that fight and you believe that you win that fight by knockout? I do. I believe I severely hurt for myself. And in the context of other women's fights, don't want to drag any other fights. But in your mind, is that the biggest women's boxing match out there at the moment? 100 percent It's England, it's Great Britain versus America. It's always a great rivalry. Carissa is going to get her chance on her say in a minute, but when will you be ready for that? When do you want to have that fight? As you stand here now, are you injury-free and ready to go again if the summer is on the table? 100%. It's all down to Ben and Peter now. And where would you have a preference? Would you invite her to come back here to Newcastle? 100%. It's got to happen here in the North East. Bring in China Peter Fury. We'll come to that fight shortly, but just your assessment of Savannah's performance tonight from what we saw against Femke Herman's becoming the first person to stop her. Yeah, I just said to Savannah, keep at your own pace and uh, she'll be tricky early on. You know, calm her down with a jab and, you know, start closing the distance down. Let her throw back and you'll catch her, you know, and, uh, you know, that was it. You know, I said, in, I said before she'd get knocked out and, you know, that's what happened. The team will all come together, a bit of pressure on Ben Shalom, but... Can that fight happen next? Will that fight happen next against the quotes, Clarissa Shields? I think it's a super fight. You know, look, Clarissa Shields has come over here. Big respect to this girl as well. Look at all the belts, you know. She's got all the accolades there. This is, look, this is the biggest fight in women's boxing, bar none. It's a middleweight division, you know, it's a red-hot division. You've got a power puncher against an excellent boxer, and she can box as well. So like I said, it's a massive fight for America and the UK, so this fight needs to happen, and I believe it happens next. It's got to happen next because there's no one else in this division because Savannah, this is what she can do with the division, and this is why Clarissa Shield has been cleaning up. These are the best two in the division, so they need to square off. Simple. Thanks, Peter. Savannah, well done. Yeah, what a performance from Savannah Marshall. Absolutely stunning, and what a finish as well. A real masterclass. Clarissa, I will come straight to you. You cannot not show any respect for that performance and give Savannah her dues. Congrats, that's what you're supposed to do. I said that she would do that with MK, um, but I'm not MK Herman. I'm not Hannah Rankin. I'm not any of those girls she fought against. And uh, as much punch power as she has, I'm sorry to tell you, if that's what I got to look forward to, it's going to be a wipeout. Was that not, though, a real statement from Savannah? You went the distance with Femke, and she I managed to do it so with quickly. MK four years ago. We fought four years ago early on in my career. But like I said, I'm not I'm not Femke. I'm not uh, none of the girls that she fought against. She will, She's going to have trouble with me, and she's definitely not going to knock me out. Johnny, how impressed were you? Surely Savannah it is the biggest, the biggest puncher in the women's code. Without a doubt, impressed on every level, kept her on pace, stalked her down, was missing a little bit to start with, just got the rhythm, just got the distance, stayed calm, listened to Pete in the corner, and when the shots came, boom, landed the shot. Once she got a solid shot on, once she found her, her, her target, then you've just seen, in my opinion, one of the biggest female punchers in the world. And, and a girl that believes she is the best puncher, best boxer in the world. That's belief what you're looking
see that right there. Storm stalked, walked, walked her down, pushed her to the corner. She knew she could feel that she was going down the end of the shots. Missed with one, caught with the next one, walked off. Is she is she the biggest puncher, Clarissa? No, she's not. No, she's not. And you guys are gonna see that when I when I come back over here in the summer and show you that you have to have power, you have to have skill, you have to have all that in order to beat me. It's just not gonna take her just one big punch to deal with me inside the ring. It's gonna take a lot. Everybody's done their bit. The pressure shifts to your shoulders now. Can you make this massive fight for women's boxing? If so, when? 100%. That was a plan all along. That was a plan when we got Savannah. We knew she was a diamond in the rough. We knew she could headline nights like tonight. Not only is she a lead boxer, but she can fill out arenas. Her personality is coming through. And now we have the, what I believe, what Peter believes, is the biggest fight in women's boxing. It's very, very close. Honestly, a matter of days. We want it to happen here in Newcastle. This is where it should happen. This is where she's built a fan base. And this is where it deserves to happen. So Clarissa's come over all the way from the States. She obviously wants it. And it's going to be a classic an absolute classic and a, I think a milestone for women's boxing in general. Next question, what dates, what month is on the table? Are we looking at June? Are we looking at July? We're looking at late June, early July now and it 100% I believe will happen this summer. Fingers crossed. I want it. Everyone wants it. We've been working relentlessly with Dimitri Salita and Mick Hennessy and Peter Fiore to make sure we can put this fight on. We had to make sure Savannah got through tonight and she got through in tremendous fashion so yeah, it will happen very very soon. She's got such momentum at the moment and North East Boxing has got such momentum at the moment. Do you believe that Clarissa will